Hello guys, welcome. So today we're learning how to make this simple church flyer design using Pixel Lab. Without further ado, let's get started. So we'll go to our Pixel Lab app, here Pixel, Pixel app, and then we'll go to a uh, background. Now I've made the Pixel Lab app available um, for you in the description below with all the resources it takes to get um, this design. So want to check it and uh, make your own, right? And you know, get creative. Don't just copy and paste. Make your own. Add your own touch to the design. So the first thing we're doing is adding the gallery from our gallery, taking from our gallery and image that we're using. Okay, so as we're choosing the image we're using, make it a square, right? A square there. Right now we're making the background, right? We need import again. So it's important that you make both the background and the background picture to have the same um, type of background. This will make it have more quality rather than just using the background or just putting an image over it. Still get that. So we're importing over again, make it same square size, and then we'll go to relative size and increase it to 100. Move it to 100, and then we'll use our relative position and place it in the middle. We'll click on it, and lock it. So it's already in the middle, so there's no need for placing it in the middle. Let's see, um, make sure that's that. Okay, so next we'll go to our color filters. We'll go to our color filters, and then we'll adjust. we make a... We want to make it a black and white effect so the contrast leave it at zero brightness is just the saturation we adjust the saturation to minus 68 okay so that's that's okay for the saturation right there and the hue the hue starting saturation is minus 68 the next thing we're doing we're going to add our text right so we're going to add our text our text we're going to be writing tens given tens given that's the text right there right so we want to increase the size in the size then we change the font. So for this design, we're using Olivia Sans as our font. Okay, so we're using Olivia Sans. Um, I made it available in the description. Also, you can download the fonts and install it in Pixel Lab. Um, maybe in the next video, I'll act a short video on how to install fonts into the Pixel Lab. All right, I'll just upload both of them today. Okay. Now, so there is it. Um, Thanksgiving. So we want to rotate it to minus five, the degree to minus five, and then want um the font. Want to make it bold. Okay. Make it bold. Choose the Olivia Sands bold. That's one reason. So the font I shared is the whole compilation, the whole thing there. So now the next thing is our color. We're choosing the right the color that we're using. Go to the add button. That I click there. The add button there. And we're going to the um, clicking, we're changing the color code. So, to do that, you have to click on the I am pencil at the top right corner there. So we click on that. All right, so the red will change it to 231, the green part will change it to 79, and then the blue will change it to that one. So, that's the code. So, that's the color there, that's the color codes that um, we have. So, that's our design here. All right, so we want to reduce the line spacing twice, so we'll be together. Then, skip it. So now we're bringing in from our gallery, we're bringing in um, the drum. I the drum, that's what I uh, made design to be. It was standing, that's the drum. I made it available in the description below also, just get it. So now I just adjust the placement of the fonts and everything. All right, the next thing we're adding on now is our service, Thanksgiving service, remember. So we go to the font now. I made this pixel app available for you, right? So, um, in the default fonts, then you have this the the type of font that we're using. So it's the is it this one? Okay, is the second the first font there? That one that I just cycled. That's the type of font. So you just scroll scroll down. You see this font available there. So just pick it and we'll be using that. What is the sign? All right. Okay, so I'll go to padding, right? Go to padding. So because you know the end of the service is not showing well, so I want to readjust that. Okay. So they have a Thanksgiving service. Ah, uh, right. So the next thing I'm um, we'll make adding a stroke to it, right? Taking the color white. So it be more visible. Thanksgiving service. Just let's be so at one for now. Okay. So now we'll now adjust. We'll adjust this things. Alright, so please move. I think and the place length and position is not good. Now, how I place the service, you know, in between the S, I think, um, just have to reduce the size of that. 
and then our service we won't place it at the right position the eye the dot on the eye and the under you know there's the g the g is occupying the space between the dot on top and the eye under so let's just check how it is all right then um i think we'll be using the size of the service and then i'm going to be also be rotating it we're just rotating it also so let's align the um, drums well and then when you do to front to back, we'll bring it to bring it to the back. So just um grab on your service, just hold on it and then you can draw it back. Using pixel up, just tap on it and then you draw it back. I want to take it back of the drum, you understand? So it doesn't interfere. Alright, so the next we'll be adding is our uh location and time. We're adding location and time next, so I'll just make this fast and make this side fast. Alright then, okay, so the font we're also been using is still the um, Olivia Sans, right? We're using the normal um, font, then we'll reduce the size of the font, reduce the size and place it in the middle, right? And we use our next position to align it. Then the color, we're going to make the color, but making it black, right? Black color. Alright, so we align it, we align it center, center line, so that's the middle option there. And then we we'll also place the reset position, so it's aligned to the middle. Okay, so. Now the next thing we do, we want to um, reduce the line spacing between them. We want to reduce line spacing. I think that's okay. So next thing we add in red. Let's move that down. We're adding our time. Right. We just show to the location now. Start our time. So we use the font. Use the font of that. We just be looking at the numbers right of the font. So you get the one that we are using. Okay. So the next thing now is to add our time. Okay, so since our time is here, we want to increase the size, make it 28, and then we'll align it in the middle, right? So we'll go to our color. The style is bold, right? Okay, and then we will add it to right, the color. So we'll go to down. Then you see this um, blue effect there, selecting the one that you want to change the color. So we'll just select only the 9 a.m. Right? We'll just tap on it and drag. So we're we'll making the line only the same color as the tens given, right? Okay, so we want to position that well. It, uh, shift it up a little bit, align at the center. Okay, that is that's perfect. All right, so um, the service we are going to be rotating it's also minus five degrees, minus five, and then one more thing. thing. Okay, so we are going to be increasing the spacing, the spacing, letter spacing between the service, right? We won't make it um, elevate as um, let's choose one that is okay. No, what. Okay, I think seven was the one we have left it at. So that's the Thanksgiving service. Then we'll align that. So if that's the stuff, we'll just go to lock, click on the padlock icon there, right? And lock the dead lock, right? So you cannot move it again even though you tap on it until you go and unlock it. So it stops the surveillance. Okay, that's the Thanksgiving service, Sunday, 4th of December. Right, okay, so next thing we're adding is adding our logo. This is the finishing touches, right? So I'll make it fast. You just add your logo and add the name, right? So if you are designing for a church, you cannot put your logo there and um, you can then we'll round up. Alright, so we are done with that. The next thing we're adding, we go to um we add the stroke width of the service, right? Click on the service and make it stroke width three so it becomes more visible. And so there you have it, the simple Thanksgiving flyer on Pixel Lab, right? So we'll be uh change at at attaching the initial road that's that's the right thing there. Okay, so we'll now save this as image, put it as um JPEG and Ultra, right? So we have the highest quality. So when we save it, we're going to go to our Pix Art to um Enhance the designs, right? Because they're just like adding steroids to your design, so you can get the Pix app, the Pix art app, um, app on your Play Store or your Apple Store, right? It's just easy to download. Just go to Play Store and upload that and download it there. So we'll go to Pix art now. The picture show you there. Click on it. So the first thing we're going to is the effects, the effects option that is there. So we'll click on effect. 
all right okay i think we just stepped into another thing we discard that so we'll go to effects that's the one i just click on now we'll go to the simple that's the first option near the first one right that's one we are under so we we'll reduce this on this this on sharp reduce it to 20 20 that's okay Right, so the next thing we do we'll go to our lens flare right lens right the um, bottom of the uh, and then we'll choose that option right there choose the option in the lens flare. just check the bottom of the pixel art right i think i just skip that so we'll go to that place and then we we'll choose the option that i'll just choose now and then we'll increase it a little bit just add that lightning event in the flyer so after that we we'll click on save and click on download right and it gets downloaded to our phone and then we can go and watch the video there you see so that's how to make the design thank you so much have a very great week we love from john amalo aka the first time